Herbalism and paraherbalism offer nature's remedies for modern ailments. Herbalism and paraherbalism represent two approaches to plant-based medicine, each with its own roots in tradition and varying degrees of scientific backing. As people seek natural alternatives to pharmaceuticals, these practices gain popularity for their potential health benefits. Understanding the distinctions and scientifically recognized remedies can help consumers make informed choices. The Essence of Herbalism and Paraherbalism Herbalism, Science and Tradition Combined Herbalism, also known as herbal medicine, involves using plants or plant extracts to maintain health, prevent disease, and treat ailments. This practice is ancient, embedded in the traditional medicinal systems of cultures like Ayurveda, traditional Chinese medicine, TCM, and Native American healing practices. Herbalists utilize various plant parts, leaves, roots, flowers, and seeds, to create remedies such as teas, tinctures, capsules, and topical applications. With increasing scientific validation, certain herbal remedies are gaining acceptance in mainstream medicine. Paraherbalism, beyond conventional validation. Paraherbalism includes the use of plant based remedies that are less commonly recognized or scientifically validated. It often relies on folklore, anecdotal evidence, and traditional beliefs about plants' healing properties. While paraherbalism can overlap with traditional herbalism, it encompasses a broader range of practices and lacks the same level of scientific scrutiny. This field offers a more eclectic and experimental approach to herbal medicine. Recognized plant-based remedies Some plant-based remedies have earned recognition from health organizations due to their proven safety and effectiveness. Here are notable examples, aloe vera, a natural healer. Aloe vera is celebrated for its soothing and healing properties, particularly for burns and skin irritations. Health organizations like the Mayo Clinic and the American Academy of Dermatology recommend aloe vera gel for treating minor burns and skin conditions, citing its efficacy in promoting healing. Ginger, combating nausea and inflammation. Ginger is renowned for its ability to alleviate nausea, motion sickness, and inflammation. The National Center for Complementary and Integrative Health NCCIH acknowledges ginger's effectiveness in reducing nausea caused by pregnancy and chemotherapy, making it a valuable natural remedy. Peppermint, relief for digestive issues. Peppermint is commonly used to relieve symptoms of irritable bowel syndrome, IBS, such as abdominal pain and bloating. The American College of Gastroenterology includes peppermint oil in its guidelines for managing IBS, highlighting its role in improving digestive health. Echinacea, Immune System Support Echinacea is often used to boost the immune system and reduce the duration of colds. Although research results vary, some studies suggest echinacea can modestly reduce cold symptoms. It is frequently listed by reputable health sources, including the National Institutes of Health, NIH, for its potential benefits. Street John's Wort, Addressing Mild Depression ST John's wort is a popular herbal remedy for treating mild to moderate depression. Recognized by the Cochrane Library and other medical reviews for its potential efficacy, St. John's wort is widely used. However, it interacts with many medications, requiring careful consideration and consultation with healthcare providers. Health Organization Perspectives Major health organizations, such as the World Health Organization, WHO, the National Institutes of Health, NIH, and the European Medicines Agency, EMA, play crucial roles in evaluating and regulating herbal medicines. These bodies emphasize the importance of scientific validation, standardized dosages, and safety monitoring to ensure herbal remedies are effective and secure. The WHO, for instance, has published guidelines on the safety monitoring of herbal medicines within pharmacovigilance systems. These guidelines aim to integrate traditional medicine into the broader healthcare system while ensuring that herbal products meet quality and safety standards. As interest in natural remedies grows, understanding the distinction between herbalism and paraherbalism and recognizing scientifically validated remedies becomes increasingly important. By relying on credible information and consulting healthcare providers, consumers can safely explore the benefits of plant-based medicine.